What's up? This is all from a phone and guys, I finally figured this thing out. Like, <laughs> after so much crap, I finally figured it out. at the very beginning of this because I texted him about it um, and I was being a little stubborn because I'm a mechanic as a profession so that junk is like somebody else telling you what's wrong with the car you, you kind of like set in your ways and you're like nah that can't be it nah that can't be it but the worst thing to do when you are fixing something and especially if it's yours is not take advice and uh yeah so i have to eat crow <laughs> so anyway so when i first had a problem with this car guys i had an issue with my cam sensor now that's the what the code was saying was that i had an issue with my cam sensor um i i said this story in my old video but i'm gonna say it again just so it catches everybody up uh, I was dealing with no lift intermittently and it would only be when I was going like on a really sharp, not really sharp, but like any slight left hand turn, uh, I would notice my lift would cut out and I'm like, what? it was just a weird situation. It was only when I was going left. So, um, so yeah, so this was happening and one day the car shut off on me while I was doing that. And, the, and um, when I was looking around in the engine bay, I didn't really notice anything. But I can remember to myself that my crank sensor um, is really close to the uh, serpentine belt. So I went down there to check, take a look, and it was rubbing on the serpentine belt. So I was like, all right, I, it's probably this. So I switched it out. When I pulled it out, it was definitely that. It was a couple cut wires on the actual um, sensor itself. So then, when I took it out and put a new one in, the car started right up, no problems, like sweet. I fixed my problem, I'm not gonna have any more issues. And I hit lift, or tried to hit lift, and it wouldn't, it wouldn't go past 5,600 RPM. And I thought, in my head, I was like, oh well, that's what my lift is set at. And it's really set at like 58, I believe. And nothing was going on. So I'm like, something, you know, it's probably something that has to do with my lift. So I started doing some research. Um, and I already know like lift screens and, you know, it could be a, a bad rocker arm. But I'm like, this motor is brand new. I started thinking maybe it's out of timing. But it's like almost impossible for something with a chain driven um type of timing chain to jump timing like it there's just a lot of variables going through your head especially you know when you're not when you're desperate you start thinking some like crazy stuff and most of the time guys it's always something that's very simple you know I started looking for fuses maybe that it was on a fuse because I heard somebody say that it was on a fuse but it's not uh, this this engine runs on oil pressure well duh every engine runs on oil pressure but what I mean the lift itself reads oil pressure at the actual um, at the actual solenoid so if you look at the lift solenoid that's right there where you change the lift screens out or check the lift screens there's an oil pressure switch there and then there's also another oil pressure switch by the oil filter I checked both of those. Um, I took out the lift screens. I even replaced some of the lift screens, nothing. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna try the ECU, because the ECU, you know, maybe the two wires frayed that were on the actual sensor itself, 
back fed to the ECU and shorted something in the ECU. Like, that's my way of thinking. Like, the odds of that happening are very slim. But I was like, you know what? Let me take a shot. I have an extra ECU. I had texted r 9 can I'm like, hey, I know I got a three inch in, uh, piping. Can I use the stock ECU? He's like, you can, but it's going to be really lean. But just to check it, try it. So I did that. And it wouldn't go past 5,600 RPM again. And I'm like, wait a minute. If it was anything going on with my lift, then I probably would have been able to shift all the way to 7,000 RPM because on these cars, um, the stock lift is set at like 50, uh, 6,800 RPM. So you pretty much gotta rev it out to like seven grand. So I was thinking if I was gonna have any issues, it was gonna be at like 7,000 RPM, but I didn't have, uh, I didn't, couldn't even get past 5,600, so I'm like, okay, it's not the ECU then, it's gotta be the sensor, so I went to work, and the guys, the sensor I bought was a Denzel sensor, like, it's a name brand, I'm not thinking, oh, a Denzel sensor off the shelf is gonna be faulty, <laughs> The way my luck has been going, that's exactly what happened. I put, uh, I went to work and um, I got myself another sensor. I just exchanged it for my old one. And wouldn't you know, I replaced the sensor and it started working again. All this time, all this effort into trying to figure this thing out and it was just a faulty sensor. Like, last time that I put trust in, like, anything, to be honest with you. If I ever have an issue like that ever again, I'm going to recheck stuff. Um, because you, you get stupid stuff like that. And, honestly, like, I'm so happy that it's nothing else. <laughs> like, no mechanical issues, no motor issues. It's just something that simple. And as you guys saw... Typically, when there's sensors or something like that or any issue with a sensor, there's a check engine light. This car did not have one. So, just because you don't have a check engine light does not mean that a sensor is not the problem. Very interesting. But, anyways, um, I'm just glad I figured it out, man. I really am glad I figured it out. My next video, guys, is going to be this thing on a dyno so uh i got a vacation coming up after my vacation i am planning on sending this thing and seeing what happens seeing what numbers i get but i just wanted to update you, update you guys the car is running um perfect again and that's pretty much it if you guys have any questions comments leave them in the comment section below if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe hit that notification bell to get my next video and guys I hope you have a good day peace out